everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim and today I am filming part five of the Watson family, the Parenthood Let's Play. So a quick recap on last time. Crystal, her mum Emily and Henry had a short but sweet stop at Emily's parents' house and uh, unfortunately due to Emily's curfew mm -hmm. they weren't allowed to stop for longer and it had to be a short visit but Emily managed to catch up with her mum, explain everything that's been going on with Dwayne, her husband and her mum's agreed to mentor her in painting because she's skilled at painting herself which is brilliant news for Emily uh, as she's trying to make some money on the side whilst Dwayne is stopping with his brother in San my shoe now. Crystal, she managed to sneak out and take advantage of the late night curfew removal and go and make an introduction over to the Von Yorks where she hit it off with young Magnus. Um, also, Emily and Henry, they made their introductions too and she was able to properly introduce herself to Angelique who's the mum. Now, Emily and Angelique thought it would be a really great idea, given the fact that all the children and teens are quite new to the area, that Crystal ran her own homework club um, for all the new kids in the New Crest area. So, she's set up a new homework club. Currently, we have Magnus in it with his yeah. sister Elise and another member of a new family who have just entered the street, which I'll get onto later. Emily's also created a new Crest Mums group. Now, she's not entirely sure how well that's going to go, but she was trying to do the community thing and the friendly thing. And also, she's, she's trying to make new friends. So she thought, you know, I'll make a small group of uh, new crest mums and if people show up and they want to spend time getting to know one another then that's great if not i'm a super busy mum anyway so it's not a problem so currently i am in creator sim mode and Emily and Crystal have been busy shopping this morning. Um, as you know, Crystal's got a day off from school today. Um, and they've been and done a little bit of clothes shopping to try and cheer both of them up, I think. So she's not changed much, really, in style. She's a, a T-shirt and jeans type of girl. But she's got a couple of different outfits. Just very, very casual. And again, Emily's got herself a couple of outfits. Quite casual again, nothing too different. But she just fancied a change. Sometimes buying new clothes can just give you that pick-me-up to feel a little bit better about yourself. And obviously they couldn't leave little Henry out. So he's got a brand new sleep suit here, which is absolutely adorable. So I'm just gonna jump in and just explain as well that I did add house traits to um, our home, the Watson family home. Uh, we've got the vampire nexus, because I thought that would be great for Crystal to attract uh, vampires to the area. I have no idea what effect that's gonna have because I haven't played the vampires at all, so it's all new to me and I'm excited to find out more. But also home studio, which will help Emily along her way with her painting skill. And also, what was the last one? Um, Vampire Nexus home studio. And we had the teen neighbourhood one as well. Um, you know, it attracts more teens to the area. So that, again, is going to be quite good for Crystal, who desperately needs to pick up on her social aspect. So she's currently here in the von york's house which can we just appreciate this for a second before we do jump in this house is absolutely magnificent angelique was like you know what we'll stop in this sub suburban house for you know a couple of days whilst they finish it off but she just could not wait no wonder she was so tense she couldn't wait to be uh, in her in her home here so the detail on this house is absolutely incredible and I will actually leave a link in the description box below of um, a link to this house which is available on the gallery and it was made by the lovely Chrissy York who also made the Von York family. The detail in this house is absolutely incredible. 
But anyway, Crystal here has just arrived. She's just making some introductions. I don't think she's met Dad yet, which is uh, Benjamin. Uh, she's met Rebecca. Uh, so I think she was just about to sit down politely. Hello. Hello there. So she, she is at, oh no, he's quite tense. Oh, Magnus is about, is he? Let's have a quick look. Oh, oh. Discuss local fishing spots. So where is he then? He must be around here somewhere. Here he comes. Here he is. Listen to me. Here he is. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. I think it's nice for her to be able to, um, you know, get to know somebody who's who's nice, really. To do a friendly introduction. Inja, inja. Discuss interest. Crystal, seriously, I just found out about this concert and underground abandoned warehouse in the fashion district. Really, Grandad, like, I see if I would take you to that. I love you, but not today. <laughs> I'm trying to make friends here. So, you know what? I don't know if this just jumps straight in with it because. It's becoming so blatantly obvious that these are vampires now. Um, I'm going to ask about vampire history and just see what happens. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Von Flavius sells copies of the Encyclopedia Vampirica. If you search on a computer, you can find the shop. Research long enough and you may find a copy of the Ultimate Vampire Compendium. Okay. Von Flavius. You search on the computer, you can find the shop. Okay. Von Flavius. Better get that wrote down. Cop. Right. Okay. So he's really not going to give too much away himself, is he? Let's debate the existence of vampires. I see everyone's gone like a little bit quieter. The laughing's kind of calmed down a bit. <laughs> At least you're not giving it away or anything there. I love it. She's like, hey. Let's do some extra credit work. <laughs> Let's get off that subject. It was getting all a little bit bit awkward. And uh, Elise is sort of hissing down my ear. Um, not really sure where to sit now. <laughs> Bless her. Okay. Um, I take it mum's not around. Let's just share some brilliant ideas. Let's talk about our dreams. Oh, Gossip and have a deep conversation. He seems really nice as well. He's just like sat there, like, yeah, you know. I keep me, I keep wanting to call them muggles, but I can't call them muggles. That's wrong. But he's just like, just sat there really nicely, isn't he? Let's tell a dramatic story. Have we met Christian? No, we have not met little Christian here. I'm loving, loving this family. Oh no. Is she just telling, oh, here's mum. <laughs> In like a bolt of lightning, it's Angelique von York. She's like Speedy Gonzalez. She just comes in out the blue. It's like she has to just check, you know, what is the family doing? There is a human presence here and uh, I need to just, <laughs> I need to control this situation. I would like to actually build up Crystal's relationship with her as well because 
She seems like a bit of a tough cookie to crack, Miss Angelique. She always seems a little bit tense. Let's compliment her house. Give her a, a heartfelt compliment. Discuss her interests. Share brilliant ideas. She's earned level two of charisma skill. Good. Get to know her. Ask her about a career. How amazing is this family? Elise is quite quiet, but I think she's quite engrossed in the telly at the moment, to be fair. I think she's watching some sort of drama and she's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I am paying attention, but uh, my favourite programme's just on. <laughs> So Crystal has learned that Angelique's a stay-at-home mum now. Okay, she must have quit that job then at McDonald's the other day. Let's um, tell an engaging story. And have a deep conversation. She wants to get on the right side of Angelique. I don't know. I think it's, she's just got this presence about her that just makes her feel like I better get in her good books. And I think sometimes when you're a teen, you can get that impression off like adults. Whoa, off he goes. Did, I'm assuming he just needed the toilet, you know. I mean, Crystal, did you not see that? She's like, yeah, I did, but, uh, you know, I want to know more, so I'm just going to pretend that um, I didn't see it. Oh, all that, no, see, I'm looking in the sky, and she's gone. <laughs> Max is like, oh, man. <laughs> right, let's tell him a funny story. Larkin, Moosh. Brian is day. I love this. I love him running about. I think it's amazing. Obsessed about a favourite celebrity. Have a deep conversation. Um... Oh, I could do that with my kids. <laughs> um, oh, she didn't lie that. She wasn't sure about that. <laughs> what I think I might do is actually... I might travel with... Magnus, if I can, and maybe go somewhere a bit, a bit less crowded. This is sort of uh, meeting the entire family. It's kind of sweet, really, because look, they brought the daughter down as well, and it's like they're having just this big <laughs> introduction to um, Crystal, and I think it's sweet. But I know Crystal got quite tense and overwhelmed with it last time, so I think they're just going to go and head to. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go to see what's in Windenburg. I can't really go to a bar. What's this over here? Let's go over here. I think there's a cafe down in Windenburg and they can just go and maybe get a drink and have a bit more of a private chat. Because Crystal gets good vibes off Magnus. She thinks he could be like a really good friend and, you know, who knows? He's always been really quite nice and sweet and enthusiastic about everything that she's got to say. And I mean, what more can a girl want? I'm not entirely sure that Crystal's focus at the moment is trying to find, um, you know, a boy potential boyfriend. Or, you know, no one plans these things, do they? So before, well, we'll let you go in. Let's, can we order anything? Or do we have to make a drink to go? Okay, we'll make a drink to stay.
we'll just have a latte I think I'm assuming nobody's working so she's gonna have to help herself wow uh, you better be quick crystal <laughs> Her sister was quick, wasn't she? Blooming out here already on the computer. They're not leaving him alone, are they? She's like, yeah, I've got my BDI on you. Is this... This is indeed Nelly Underland, who is part of the Homework Club. She also happens to live along Tulip Lane with her family, who we will be looking to properly introduce, I think, in the next part. But this lovely family was created by Universalis, who is, um, if you do want to add in a family into this Let's Play, feel free to do so. Just hashtag it Sim Kim, because we've still got a few spaces along Tulip Lane, and it'd be nice to fill it up. But this lovely family, I think I'm going to introduce properly in the next part. So, have you managed to get a drink? Are you going to make Magnus a drink? No. Oh, here she is. Maybe she was on a break. She's like, um, what were you doing behind there? Uh, well, I'll just pretend I didn't see that because I wasn't doing my job properly. <laughs> so she needs to get to know him. But she's not. She's like, I'm a geek. I just want to play on the computer because this looks really shiny. Get off that computer, girl. Whisper about crush. Right, come on, get to know him before he disappears. Sit together there. Oh, hello, Nelly. <laughs> oh, dear. This is not... This has turned into, a, like, a homework club event. So there is not going to be any privacy today. Oh, no. He's like, um, sorry about that. My sister's just, uh, come along. I think she's going to praise his vampire lifestyle. She's like, look, seriously, I know you're a vampire. Like, stop <laughs> stop telling me to look at books. <laughs> Just tell me the truth. The thing is, is I actually met Nelly earlier on and she absolutely just loves jumping in and out of platform. She's absolutely crazy. And uh, I think she's potentially could make a really good friend uh, for Crystal. So I'm so looking forward to spending time with Nelly. They're finally alone again. <laughs> She's going to infuse about vampires as well. Oh, he's like really excited about that. But then he's like, ah, we can't do this. He's like, uh, any chance of a drink? You know, I've been here a while now and uh, let's go have a little chat to Nelly. go bright in her day not that she needs it any brighter I think she's going to be quite a happy little soul she's having a good chat with Elise yeah does she even know we're vampires yet well she should do because you keep jumping around like a bat out of hell <laughs> so get to know her gossip rave about growing up <laughs> Talk about teens are us. Do we think it's good having this homework club? In fact, where is a homework? That's the point. Oh, don't tell me I've been it. That's, that would just be my luck, wouldn't it? Is this it, possibly? Can we take this? I'm just going to take this one and put it in there. No, we're not. We can't take that. 
So this looks to be quite a nice little positive group, really. She's dying to do extra credit work as well, bless her. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let her go home and just sort her needs out. And maybe pop back a little bit later on, who knows? So we'll end the gathering and we are going to head home. So we're going to get her to just nips blue and let's get something to eat open. Let's have some nice fish. Now Emily, do we have any post? No, you're all good, you're just smelling the fresh air. I think she just seems really sort of... Um, relaxing in a good place at the moment she just doesn't seem to have spared a thought for Dwayne at all and I don't blame her you know the guy's an absolute idiot so I think we'll give um we'll go I think it's easy to do it this way if you go toddler care give food I'm actually just going to move that cup I think if I do it that way, she just picks him up and puts him in the high chair. Look, he's like pizza. Can we have some pizza, Mum? She's like, you'll get what you're given, lad. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, we will give Crystal a heartfelt compliment. She looks very happy we are going to ask her about her day and you know what i think we're going to debate the existence of vampires with her she's smart she knows the daughter's smart and some weird happenings have been going on so let's have that conversation Oh, we're ringing. Hey, welcome to Teen Zaros Crystal. Try starting, blah, blah, blah. We've done that. Okay, so I think she's going to parenting, influence to. She's already done work on a school project. We we need to get Crystal working on this project now. I think she needs to stop in and give it a go. And she is going to is little Henry. Yeah, let's give him a drink. Let's give him some apple juice. So Emily's all inspired. Did she manage to paint anything today? No. Maybe she should do that before she goes to bed. So all's quite rosy between everybody. Everyone just seems happy. Oh, oh I spoke too soon. You need to let little man out. Get him out, quick, pick him up. Pick him up. And put him down. And then I think we're gonna have her do load the dishwasher. She loves a bit of cleaning. Let's have a look at you, little man. Where are you up to? Well, first off, we're going to get you on the potty. You shouldn't have your tablet. Sorry, that's gross. <laughs> you go potty, mate. And then after that, we'll get you playing some sim shape. So, Emily, come do some painting. 
before the sun goes down let's get a nice large classic painting on the go you get working on your funds on your bank account let's have a look where were we up to bank account wise she has do, do, do. don't know where I've got it I put it somewhere Okay, I'll have to have another look but she has actually already started building that fund it's not very much but you've got to start somewhere oh no he's sad oh no now he's happy that's all good so Emily can now discuss colour theory with other sims Crystal's like mum what are you doing anger management sometimes I just get so angry that I don't know what to do with myself how can I deal with things when I can't even do a workout affects emotional control or talk it through with someone affects conflict resolution I'm going to go with talk it through with somebody because that is what I would do thanks for the advice Emily has advised Crystal affecting her character values conflict resolution increases and emotional control decreases Okay, how's she getting on with this? Work carefully. I want to see one of these projects all finished off. Working carefully. Careful work increases the final quality of the project. Sims take pride in high quality work. Awesome. This little man's uh, fun is going up which is good and also his thinking skill which we need him to pick up on oh bless him down there so what are you painting there Emily looks like the startings of like a rabbit have you possibly seen one out there in these uh... look at those butterflies aren't they gorgeous who's that I think we've met him before, possibly. Oh yes, very nice. I think she's possibly spotted a rabbit somewhere on the horizon and uh, it's not a bad attempt that, Emily. Not bad at all, girl. I think we'll be out of this relationship before you know it. Look at her responsibility going up, this is fantastic. We're having a good day. She's doing very well actually. Her manners are full. Full manners. Amazing responsibilities going up as well. She needs to work on emotional control, so. Right. Oh no. They can do several winding down interactions on radios and instruments or jog to clear their mind. Maybe we could start doing a bit of jogging and work on that. Yeah, so she's a little bit hungry there. So he wants some attention. Let's go and have a chat with him because he can't just sit there on his tablet all day, can he? Let's go check him. I'm actually going to have her come off doing that now and just have a little bit of fun. Go play The Sims. I don't actually know before we do that if her fun goes up if she writes in her journal is there something she finds fun? no it's going down ok we'll all let her finish that and when she's finished she can just go and have a little play on we'll do blick block I always want to call it blicker block I don't know why but I do I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one as well um, Emily we'll get you oh no she's poorly again this isn't good is it this is twice she's been ill I'm pretty sure it's all the stress feverish emily is hot like super hot and not that good ready for her close-up kind of way 
Oh dear, so I'll have to get some medicine ordered, I think. Um, if we go to household. Um, no. Where are we again? Order. Medicine. Should be in your inventory. Take medicine. And then we need to go and interact with little Henry. So I think I'm going to go in. Read him this book. So she's going to come in now. She's feeling... Oh. Scratchy. It feels as if there's a swarm of invisible insects marching all over her skin and she's feeling uncomfortable. Oh, that's not good. She's ill as well. I don't actually know if medicine will cure that, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, so... Order... Medicine. One. So when she's done that, she needs to take her medicine. She's now reached level three in video gaming, which is good. Oh, look at his little face. I think she's going to. How is he feeling? It's feeling alright. I think she needs to just have like a little chat with him and stuff. Right in his day. Tell him a story. Play with him. That's. I love that one actually. Let's do that one instead. Let's play. No. Where's it gone? Play. Oh no. Is it because she's tired? She can't do it? So I think we're just going to go and pop him into bed instead because I think he's tired. I know she's tired. Um, Crystal, she's quite happy there. But she needs to take her medicine and get herself to bed, I think, for an early night. So it's not that early, it's 10 past 12. She's feeling a lot better after that. Oh, and she's energised as well. Um, in that case... I think it'd be really good if you just gave your mum a hand and just did a bit of tidying up before you went to bed. Such a superstar. She's a good girl, Crystal. I'm not surprised she's energised. She's just like... Life's just gone from being the worst at the beginning of the week to just having so much potential. She's just ultimately happy that her dad's not in the house anymore. And who can blame her as well? Acquired the fitness skill. Crystal's new skill in fitness will allow her to perform various workouts on the workout equipment. Okay, awesome. I think we'll clear the table. We will put this book. We could do with putting it away into the bookshelf, actually. But I don't think we've got one. How can we not have a bookshelf? That's rubbish. Right, we'll have to buy one. Sorry, guys. I have to buy one. Oh, we've got one upstairs, haven't we? But we need one downstairs, really. So, let's go. Storage. And we'll just get, like, quite a nice little neat one. Maybe there. In fact, I think it'll probably look a little bit better there. That, that'll do. And then we can... Uh, these books away now. That'll uh, help Emily out a little bit. 
Right, where's she up to? So, oh, let's have, before we go, we're not going to do that, but what we are going to do is have a look for Vampire Secrets. Okay, it's not that. Web or that socialize. Nope. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure actually. Maybe she should. Let's see if she can search for more information. I think I do need to have a little look into which direction she needs to go with this. Continue her research. I mean, is that possible? You just have to keep searching for information. Yeah, she's exhausted all information. This girl is not going to give up, um, but what I will do is send her to bed now, because I think she's had such a good day, but it is so late and she doesn't want to fudge up tomorrow, so she needs to get herself to bed. So I think I'm going to end the part here uh, for today. And it's been quite an eventful day, I think, but we're definitely seeing a shift of mood in this family. Um, Emily seems so much happier and so does Crystal. You know, she's they're both sort of socialising, doing the things that they want to do. You know, Emily's now painting and I think she's got like quite a nice new focus as well as meeting, you know, a couple of the mums in the area, which is good. Henry's quite a happy little boy. He doesn't need a lot of maintenance, thanks to his trait. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's doing absolutely fantastic as well. Um, so, all in all, I think it's been a good part. But how long will that happiness last for? Will it be short-lived? Or will it continue? Will it blossom? Who knows? But you'll have to wait until the next part to... Um, find out now i will actually link below um chrissy york's details for the von yorks and also for their house that they're living in which is an absolutely incredible building even if you don't like victorian builds just download it just to appreciate the interior because it must have taken forever it was absolutely stunning um so thank you very much for those additions chrissy they're mind-blowing i'm over the moon with them um i hope you've enjoyed this part everybody please give me a like and subscribe if you did because that certainly helps me out in growing my channel and um we might have a sneaky little challenge coming up soon uh, so watch this space take care bye